Hello everyone, welcome to RPG 4 minute videos for developers. In this video, we are going to see how to create an RPG API proxy from OpenAPI spec. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and RPG platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need RPG Edge account, you can register at rpg.com slash edge. You need basics of OpenAPI specification, for that you can refer below GitHub link. In this video, we're going to see how to import a spec into RPG Edge and use spec editor to make changes and maintain open API spec, as well as create an API proxy from open API specification. As you know, RPG API proxy sits in between the client and the target server. In RPG Edge, you can create an API proxy where the request flows through uh, the API proxy to the backend and the response again flows through API proxy to the client. You can actually create an RPG API proxy from OpenAPI spec. In this video, we're going to see that. Let's get started. Log into your RPG Edge account, select your organization, and then click on Develop and then Specs to import a new spec or to create a new spec. In this video, we're going to import a new spec from OpenAPI spec that already exists in playground.apistudio.io. You can get this link uh, from the description of the video. To import a new spec, click on plus spec and then choose import URL. I'm going to say uh, the spec name as anil underscore employee underscore API. And this particular spec has employee related APIs and then paste the link. Then click on import. As you can see, our spec got created. Click on spec to open open api spec editor where you can edit the spec as well as see interactive documentation on the right side you can create a new api proxy from open api spec in rpg edge to create a new api proxy click on develop click on api proxies and then click on new proxy and choose reverse proxy then choose use open api from the list select the spec that you have created to create an API proxy from the spec. Choose select, then click on next. I'm going to change proxy name to my initials underscore employee underscore API, as well as change the base path to slash v1 slash anil underscore employee underscore API. As you can see, the target server endpoint is pre populated from the open API spec. Click on next. Also, you can see the list of API paths uh, available in the open API spec that got populated in the flows uh, uh, section. You can pick and choose what flow uh, you want to enable as a conditional flow in API proxy. I'm going to choose all of them and then click on next. Choose the authorization as pass through. Click next. Choose the default virtual host. Choose test deployment environment and then click on build and deploy. So our proxy got created and deployed into the test environment. Click on the link to access uh, the proxy overview page. We created a proxy uh, from OpenAPI spec and the proxy is ready to use. So I'm going to test this particular API proxy using Apache REST client. Navigate to api-rest-client.appspot-preview.com uh, to access the REST client using which you can able to make an API call. Uh, copy the URL, proxy URL from the proxy overview uh, page, uh, then paste it in the URL tab, choose the get method and hit send to see the API proxy in action. As you can see, we got response status 200 and we can able to access the list of employees. So that's how you can able to create an API proxy from open API spec in RPG Edge. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.rpg.com. Thank you.